Section 10B of the Securities Act of 1934 and Section 11 of the Securities Act of 1933 are tools that investors use to rectify securities fraud. A plaintiff bringing a claim under either section must prove that the fraudulent statement or omission was material. In the case of In Re Merck & Company securities litigation, the Third Circuit sought to define materiality. In January of 2002, Merck & Company Incorporated announced a planned initial public offering, or IPO, of its subsidiary, Medco Health Solutions Incorporated. Medco saved clients' money by negotiating discounted rates with pharmacies. Customers paid their copayments directly to their pharmacies. However, Medco's accounting policy was to recognize these copayments as revenue. Merck didn't initially disclose this revenue on its securities form 10K. On April 17, 2002, Merck disclosed the revenue recognition, but not the total amount of copayments recognized. After this disclosure, Merck's stock price rose 3 cents and continued to rise for the next five days. That June, the Wall Street Journal published an article reporting their estimate of the amount of copayments Medco recognized. After publication, Merck's stock fell $2.22. In July, Merck finally disclosed the total amount of copayment revenue it recognized. Merck's stock continued to fall, and Merck canceled the IPO. Union Investments Private Funds GmbH brought suit on behalf of Merck stockholders. Union claimed that Merck withheld information and made misleading statements in violation of Sections 10B and 20A of the 1934 Act and Section 11 of the 1933 Act. Merck moved to dismiss. The district court granted dismissal. Union appealed to the Third Circuit. 